Alright, so that's Chloe's house. And that's a no-brainer. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. Alright, so now we're going to be taking a tour inside Chloe's house after five years. And as you can see, it's a, you know, typical teenage rebellious kind of room, you know. I wouldn't, like, call it rebellious because, you know, it's her personal style and whatnot. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. All right, so if you want, and let's go ahead, you can just like search everything and look at everything that's changed. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. She misses the hell out of her dad. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. And that's a whole lot of Skrilla that she needs to pick up. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. Turn this on. And look, Christmas lights. Now, let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. There's the laptop. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure a lot of people on Tumblr um, have a thing for Life is Strange. I think this junk swallowed her discs. Do do do. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. And just so you don't know, there was a thing between uh, Chloe and Rachel, as you can tell. Um, she'll further explain that to you. You can go over here and explore a little bit more. Chloe's dad built this dresser. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. All right, now here's an act um consequence right here. <gasps> yeah, I'll rewind that because you don't want the uh, snow globe to like you know be broken and whatnot. Is it still up there? All right, it's still up there. All right, keep on going. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. They really had a thing for each other. All right, you can also talk to Chloe. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? Not much. You know me. I like to observe the world more than participate. I can't say I know you anymore. Maybe you love to go clubbing every night. Can you see me at a rave? I dose those candy-flipping morons and watch them twitch into a DJ dance death rattle. Take a photo of that. And you can also rewind it. All right, Chloe, who you have to say this time? So tell me. Skip. I take photos of me, the world, everything. It may sound sad, but I have a blast. It doesn't sound that sad. I'm happiest when I've got a great image in my lens. I'm not lonely, not afraid. Now that's more inspiring. I don't feel so totally hopeless. You want to give Chloe all the hope in the world. Later on, she's definitely going to need it. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. Search under her bed. And you'll find a couple of more photos of Rachel Amber. Hey, give me that. 
Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. Putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Yep. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. He would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Now, a lot of people would say that Chloe has certain issues, but I feel as though she's just suffering from the inside because, you know, with Max being gone for five years, her dad dying, and all this crap happening around her life, a lot of people would be in the same position as her. So, let's go ahead and put the CD in. Life is tough, and life is definitely hard. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. You can talk to her again if you want. No, Max, this isn't a tool shed. Like I said, check the garage. All right, and now you've been given access to check the rest of the house. So, if you want, you can just go ahead and start exploring. First turn on this light, and you're in the bathroom. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. Joyce has been mentioned before. That is Chloe's mother. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. She's not afraid, but afraid at the same time. I hope Chloe isn't taking these pills. Alright, since we explored the bathroom, let's go ahead and switch this stuff off. We can go back into the room right here. Well, not her room, but her parents' room right there. But first, let's go ahead and go downstairs. Alright, so this is basically our whole house, as you'll see in just a moment. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. And they're trying to get by, they really are. It's just like um, how most families would, you know, deal with bills and whatnot. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. And you can tell that Chloe was really happy until the event of her father dying. Oh yeah, uh, text from Kate. And do you want to know who Chloe's stepdad really is? I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. If you don't know who that is, 
that is basically um, David and Madsen, who is, in fact, her stepdad. Let's see, uh, go over here. Oh, yeah, look at the nice little jar. I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Joyce still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. Huh, it's like, uh, you know, memories are all falling back. Let's go outside if you choose to do so. And you can learn a little bit more. For example, right. the grill. I can feel autumn pushing out to summer. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. That's the name I of her father. I wonder was the last one to use this. We made this grave for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. You're also given another opportunity to contemplate about life if you just sit on the swing. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. She and Chloe had, were just basically best friends for life. And it's unfortunate that she did go to Seattle, but then again, you know, I believe that was her parents' decision to just go to Seattle and try to live a better life at least. But um, that's about it. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. Also, you can contemplate about life again if you choose to sit on the couch. Come on, open it, chicken. Hold on, and I'm not chicken. Prove it. You drink first, Max. No way. It was your idea, Chloe. Whatever. Give me that bottle. Well? Tasty. Very tasty. Here, I want a sip. Sorry, this is not for kids. Don't be greedy. Give me some. Oh shit, the carpet! There's wine all over. What do we do now? My parents are coming. Cover it up. Kids nowadays. <laughs> All right, so after skipping all through this stuff, I guess they're this, aging these books. Go ahead and I go to the garage. To the tools I need here. And there, you can just look at different pieces of information that David has. Shit, Butterfingers. And that will have consequences because he will check on about that later. But if you want to, just go ahead and look. Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. So he's trying to basically figure out what Kate is up to, which is really nothing because, you know, she's going through a lot of problems. So if you want to go ahead and reverse that mistake and go over here, open this up. What you're trying to look for are small little tools for the camera. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Alright. Also, check in the cupboard if you like. What 
Delta? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Now, you can be able to use this information later on, so... Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Alright, so go ahead and close it so I won't find out about anything. You can search the tools right here, These but uh, it's not going to help you. I need tiny tools for that camera. Alright, now what you really want to do is get that up there. Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Because, guess what? They're under that there. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. And guess what? You could also push that in. So that's just a little um, mistake that a lot of people before, will make. Though. Luckily, me or someone else is going to be here. So what you want to do is basically rewind all the events that's happened. Such as that. Turning that on. And here we go. Alright, so what you want to do now is push that in. Skip it. Turn this on, skip it, and guess what? It falls down there. And you can pull this. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. Now you have them. Also, you can go over here and look at the target. Yes, score. Switch on and look at the stuff. Hmm, one of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Switch off. Open this up if you feel like it. Chloe's stepdad is a veteran and a security guard? He must really hate her. Yep, that's the face that you're looking for. He, and just so you know, yeah, he was a veteran in the war. Which is why, like, you know, he always just looks at every single day, every single thing within his own perspective and tries to be protective, if not overprotective. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Now, is it a coincidence that Chloe's stepdad is David Madsen? Uh, I would say yes, but the, I don't know. It was just funny when I first saw it. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. No, you can choose to go through that door, but uh, we're just gonna go around. All right, now you want to do is head back upstairs. Uh, dun, dun, dun. All right, now um, we're going to go ahead and go into Joyce and David's room. Amber's about to die. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. Now go ahead and examine it if you want. Bye-bye, Birdie. I could have used my rewind to save the poor thing, but I was way too late. Not really. You can save the poor little birdie. So go ahead and rewind. Find a little bit right there and open it. The birdie is free now, as you can see. You've been resurrected, birdie. Fly, be free. Explore a little over here. Joyce always loved her mail order catalog. Oh. Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. All right, go ahead and go over here with the information. And if you look. Uh-oh, the prices are late on their bills. Like I said, it's hard for them, it really is, but they're trying Joyce to survive. Joyce still works at the diner. Is her husband a cop? Poor Chloe. Do, do, do. Oh my, Chloe made this for Joyce on Mother's Day years ago. I see why she would keep it. Oh yeah, if you want to, just go ahead and close the window. Even though the bird's already in here. Dog tags, sweet. David Matson. All right, now that's uh, over. Let's go ahead and go in here. And just go back into Chloe's room, and then you can trigger another cutscene, I believe.
You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah. I just took them today. Let me see. Wait. I've seen this before. Uh... No way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Yep. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared too, I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Like who? Hmm. Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. Of course he doesn't principal? believe you. Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash from Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. But then again, Principal Sweet. Wells is a bit Thank stressed God. at the situation that is I'll going on right now because someday. the press guys are at a slur about this. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. Guess what? This you get a new camera. camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it. And now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. <laughs> like I said, the dialogue is hilarious. <laughs> Alright, now you can't take a photo of her, although this won't count as a photo opportunity. So let's just go ahead and just take a photo of her. With your new camera. Song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. All right, so now you're in a bit of a situation. Chill, you got to hide for your life. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. Now, you can choose to examine all this other stuff, but right now you want to go to here. I'm but guess changing. what happens? Give me a minute. Just let me in now. Now, quickly rewind this just so, you know, that won't happen. Move this out of the way if you choose to do so, or else you'll get caught. Now you can hide in there. One second, my bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. 
You do not believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You are tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Now you can uh, choose to um, stay hidden, but being that kind of guy, I'm going to step in because I'm that's sorry. the kind of person I am. That was my joint. Well, well. I don't like strangers in my home, especially dopers. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about mm. the Because you're such a badass, Max. Let me show you my new toy. Uh, there are different scenarios for this, and this is the one I got, and I'm pretty sure others would as well. I'm Price. Chloe Price. Bang! Jesus, put that thing down. Chillax, sister. It's not even loaded. Yet. Yet. I thought you believed in gun control. Yes, I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. You trust Nathan or David? Thanks but technically not me. Nathan, but David, totally uh, he was a soldier, down, so I'm pretty Max. sure he can He's hold no a gun, right? He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hick hole. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. Now you can rewind and basically blame Chloe, that is if you get caught or just stay hidden. But um, she feels as though you're going to end up abandoning, abandoning her again. So I really want to be on good terms with Chloe throughout this whole walkthrough. So let's go ahead and talk to her about the uh, gun situation. You're giving me a look I haven't seen for a while? What's the problem? Why steal a gun from your stepdad? You know you're going to get busted. Or somebody like Nathan will bust me with a cap. Screw that. I need to cover my own back. Your stepdad won't let you off the hook that easy. What the hell does he need another gun for? To mow down Bigfoot cheerleaders? This is all just so scary. I know, Max. But I do feel safer having a 9mm in my pants. What does that mean? Ooh la la. Can you actually use it? After about a hundred online videos? Hell yeah. Just... Don't keep it in your pants, okay? Max, I'm not looking for trouble. I just want protection. If anybody in this country should have guns, it should be women. Oh, man. Okay, um, now, since that's all done, let's just go ahead and skip to the next part. You're gonna end up leaving Chloe's room, and you're gonna end up finding out where you're gonna start. 